Well guys, come back to the vehicle. As you can see, a bit of alternative view. We've got the camera right down there for you. And this is almost certainly, not almost, I am, I am convinced that it's the same snake that we found that skin of. It was on Batterley Road that we found the skin. It's only a couple of hundred meters from here. And uh, we've had a look here at the tracks. Rexon also looked, almost certainly this snake caught something. Who knows what, maybe something big like an impala. It's big enough to do that. And then the hyenas came and must have stolen the carcass from it and killed it in the process. It looks like the hyenas even got a bit of a temporary den even just behind here in that termite mound. Now we're going to show you more of this snake. This is the grounds I view at the moment. Um, just before we pick it up, I'm just going to give you an idea of scale. I'm going to put my hand next to that head and then Rexon will show you around more and I'll come and tell you a couple more things. As there you can see the body again, I'm trying to move around just to show you the size perspective when I was standing there. But I would guess this is estimated, sort of looking at the body roughly at least four and a half meters, probably close to five. So this truly was a monster of a rock python. I think the rope's finished, Rex. But just look at that. Absolutely amazing. Now this would have been an incredible story, obviously, to have seen what happened here. Even just finding it now, this is something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. It's not often that you see a snake this big. Of course, it's sad that it's dead, but obviously the story around it, you can imagine the battle that took place here between the hyenas and the python. Mate, look at that head. Huge. Bigger than a hand. Much bigger than a hand. Unbelievable. Let's just go stand there again. Oi, sorry. <laughs> Almost fell into a hole here and moved. I just want to give you again the size perspective of it. A little bit difficult to see there, but look at that. That's Rex standing there. You just pick the tail up there again. There's the head, the body, that part of the body there is my thigh a little bit thicker. There's the tail where Rexon is standing. Absolutely monstrous snake. Hey Rex? Yes, Unbelievable, you don't see this kind of thing very often. Uh, yeah, I've been looking for him. Well guys, we're going to just cut back to the water for a bit just to get the rig back on the car and uh, maybe come and have a look again in the next day or two. But just look at that for a last look. A little bit shaky, so I'm just holding this in my hands, but unbelievable. See you back here just now. Once again, truly amazing. This is uh, not quite the way we thought we'd find the snake. We've been talking about it and looking around for it. But uh, just a, a really unbelievable thing to find. I don't think um, I'm ever going to see something like this again. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing to see something you've never expected or, or, or imagined before. Just a question that's come through from Joe Williams. I'm sure lots of you are wondering as well um, about how this happened, why this would have happened. Just again, it's, uh, it's speculation. There's not enough clear, definite signs of a carcass here. That, uh, that we can say it did definitely kill an impala, but theoretically an impala, maybe a warthog. There's a big hole in the termite mound back there. It's a possibility as well. But uh, most likely from a, from a carcass scenario that the hyenas found it, and then uh, stealing the carcass but killing the python as well. 
and again, uh, Joe, there could be many reasons why. Um, I don't think necessarily for food. It doesn't look like it's been eaten, but uh, it uh, it could have been in the in the fight for the carcass. It could have been uh, subconsciously maybe because there's other young hyenas in the area, like you suggested, that they want to make sure a snake of this size doesn't live around here. It's the same as hyenas will kill lion cubs or lions will kill hyenas to take away competition. This would be a competitor for things like lion and and uh, hyena. It will eat the same size food to an extent. So it's taking care of a, or taking out a competitor, potential threat. Again, lions kill hyenas or hyenas kill leopard cubs or whatever because those things don't only compete for the same resources but they also can kill their offspring. So this snake fits into that bracket. This snake is uh, big enough to, to sort of count within that echelon of large predators. Um, yeah, that's, I think, the most likely theory. Obviously, not impossible that they came across it and just killed it outright. Um, but I do think there was a, there was a carcass scenario involved with it. Lots of hyena tracks around. I think we'll come back past here and have a look later tonight as well. Mm. Amazing. It stinks. See that. Yeah. Don't want to put that in the bottle and give us the odor. 